Battle of the Wilderness, May 5th through 7th, 1864, was the first battle of Lieutenant General Ulysses S. Grant's 1864 Virginia Overland Campaign against General Robert E. Lee and the Confederate Army of Northern Virginia. Both armies suffered heavy casualties, a harbinger of a bloody war of attrition by Grant against Lee's army and eventually the Confederate capital, Richmond, Virginia. The battle was tactically inconclusive as Grant disengaged and continued his offensive. Grant attempted to move quickly through the dense underbrush of the wilderness of Spotsylvania, but Lee launched two of his corps on parallel roads to intercept him. On the morning of May 5th, the Union 5th Corps under Major General Governor K. Warren attacked the Confederate 2nd Corps, commanded by Lieutenant General Richard S. Ewell in the Orange Turnpike. That afternoon, the 3rd Corps, commanded by Lieutenant General A.P. Hill, encountered Brigadier General George W. Gettys, Division of Major General Winfield S. Hancock's 2nd Corps on the Orange Plank Road. Fighting until dark was fierce but inconclusive as both sides attempted to maneuver in the dense woods. At dawn on May 6th, Hancock attacked along the Plank Road, driving Hill's Corps back in confusion. But the first corps of Lieutenant General James Longstreet arrived in time to prevent the collapse of the Confederate right flank. Longstreet followed up with a surprise flanking attack from the unfinished railroad bed that drove Hancock's men back to the Brock Road. But the momentum was lost when Longstreet was wounded by his own men. An evening attack by Major General John B. Gordon against the Union right flank caused consternation at Union headquarters but the lines st stabilized and fighting ceased. This is the true story of the Battle of the Wilderness. Fast and smart. Let's catch him by surprise, dude. General Ulysses S. Grant, leader of the Union Army, Republican, created the Overland Campaign, died July 23rd, 1885. Grant's army rushing forward, Lee had no choice but to remain stationary and prepare for battle. Good boys. 
200 paces away. Just right around the corner. Get ready. Soldier, the union are coming. Prepare your arms. Get in formation, boys. This is war. You better get ready. The union are coming. A quiet district. First Commander Major General Theophilus H. Holmes. Period of existence, October 22nd, 1861 to April 18th, 1862. Potomac District, First Commander, General P.G.T. Beauregard. Period of existence, October 22nd, 1861 to January 29th, 1862. Valley District, First Commander Major General Thomas J. Stonewall Jackson. Period of existence, October 22nd, 1861 to April 9th, 1865. General Robert E. Lee, nickname the Marble Man, rank Colonel and General, died October 12th. 1870. Pray, boy. Union soldiers are coming. Y'all need to protect this land. And protect it with ours. Here we go. Get ready for war. Although suffering many casualties, the Union Army, led by General Ulysses S. Grant, 
managed to force the Confederate Army to pull back their forces and retreat. 